Hello mga hackdog! In this video, I will briefly explain what a probability mass function is. And I'll give an example of a probability mass function. We are going to show, I'm going to teach you how to show that a certain distribution or a certain function is a probability mass function. Okay, so what is a probability mass function? It is a, is it a, it's a concise way of writing a probability distribution. Because, uh, yeah, um, mass functions, these are just probability distributions written in fun function form so that we could uh, use what uh, we've learned about uh, functions. Okay. Now, the f of x here, it's a function, right? But it stands for the probability. f of x is the probability that the random variable big X is equal to x. That's why these notations, these two notations are interchangeable. Okay? Because this f of x, as I've said, it is the probability that the big X takes on the value of the small x. And since it is a probability distribution, the individual probabilities has to be greater than or equal to zero. That's the first condition for being a probability distribution. And the second condition is that if you sum up, if you add all of the probabilities, the answer should be equal to one. Okay. okay. Now, I have here a problem. So, consider, consider the following. I have f of x equal to the probability of x plus x is equal to so it's this is a function this is a piecewise function 1 over 6 times x if x is in 1 2 3 0 otherwise okay now i have not yet explained to you what this s is this s stands for the support okay it's the support it's the support is a set of the values that this x can take okay so x so here our support is this is our support this is our support and our support um, includes one two and three meaning to say that x can only take values one two and three nothing more nothing less if x is not in the support the probability is zero that's what we mean by otherwise otherwise means that x that the value x is not in the support and the probability of that is zero okay so this one let's consider that the problem is we show that problem show that this is a probability mass function. Show that this, this one, is a probability mass function. How do we do that? We do that by using the two conditions. First, okay, the first condition. All probabilities should be greater than or equal to zero. So let's start with the probability that x equals 1 right because x can take values in this support and 1 is in the support so so probability that x equals 1 we plug in here plug in 1 because x took the value of 1 we substitute 1 for x so that's 1 6 times 1 1 6 so the probability that x equals 1 is 1 6 and that's greater than 0. let's do it for second number probably that x equals 2 is 1 6 times x took the value 2 therefore we substitute 2 for x so that's 1 6 times 2 that's 2 over 6 equals to 1 third still that is greater than 0 last p x equals 3 so that's 1 6 times 3 equals 3 over 6 equal to 1 half still that is greater than zero and so the first the first and by the way the probability that uh, x is not uh, in the support is zero so now we have shown that the first 
condition holds, we have to show that the second condition holds. We have to show that the sum, the sum of all probabilities has to be one. That's what we want to show. Okay, so how do we do that? We are going to expand this expression. This is p of x equals 1 plus p of x equals 2 plus p of x equals 3. Now, what is this? This is 1 6. That is 1 third. And that is 1 half. Let's add all numbers. This LCD is 6. 1 plus... Mm, this is 2 plus this is 3. So that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 divided by 6 is 1. The second condition holds and so therefore therefore it is indeed a probability mass function. That's how you show that a probability distribution is a probability mass function. You show that the two conditions holds. Okay?